Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a A1181 MacBook. Um, you can see that it's been taken to the Genius Bar. Um, in uh, I think this is a Sydney Apple Store, I'm not too sure. But uh, some Apple Store. And um, let me just turn the lights on there. And you can see here that um, the customer reports of a flickering screen and they confirm that and it says that they plugged it into an external monitor and it was doing the same thing um, and it says there's no physical damage or water damage or anything like that and um, this doesn't actually have a lot of screws in it because I brought it on eBay um, broken and I fixed it again um, it needed a new MagSafe board you can see all the screws I've just put in um, I did say that in the listing um, and another key point uh, thing to point out just to make sure I wasn't being scammed or anything you can see that there is a scratch in the screen, which was was there when I sent it. It was also in the listing photos, and there's also a few cracks on the keyboard, um, which you can see. Well, you can't see, but they are there. You can see here's one on the side, which was also there. So that is confirming this is my computer, and by the looks of it, it hasn't been tampered with, or you know, sabotaged. So what I'm going to do is uh, plug it in and. Um, see what's up with the uh, with the screen and um, we'll take a look at it from there okay so powering it up here you always see that flash uh, I'm not sure if that's just what these 2007 models do I had a 2009 model and it didn't do that but um yep they did that when it, before I sent it so it seems to be taking a little longer to show the display this is an Intel Mac so it shouldn't take too long to show the display so that is a pointer that something's not right. It's taking an extraordinary long time to turn on. And as you can see, there is clearly something wrong. You can see there's two mouse pointers which isn't a good sign. And booting up into line here, you notice how it did uh, post until like right at the end when it was uh, launching or booting into Lion, um, which is another issue. And you can see that the screen just flickers everywhere and there's nothing on the right side of the screen besides a black bar and the screen's split in half and it's flickering all over the place. I also noticed that I couldn't do anything. Like I was clicking on the cancel button here for the Wi-Fi settings and it wouldn't get out of it. The keyboard, uh, the escape key fixed that, but you can see that it is flickering. Um, and doing the shutdown command will shut down the Mac. Um, so just doing that, you can see that it. I'm just testing if, the, if it's the LCD, um, which it doesn't look to be. So um, what I'm going to do is open this up and um, go from there. Okay, so lifting up the top case here, I know you can't really see a lot. There will be a ribbon cable underneath, which you need to disconnect. Um, and then you can just take the top case right off. Um, 
So you can see there that uh, at the top you can see the fan and the CPU and GPU. Um, and I was just looking around, you know, to see if there's any like, I don't know, any damage to the board. Maybe like some burn marks or a, you know, a blown capacitor or anything like that. And I couldn't see anything of the sort. So powering it back up here, you can see that it's still doing it. Um, obviously I didn't do anything. Um, but if you notice, when I disconnect the um, keyboard, uh, it stops for a second. You see that? It just stops for like maybe a second or two, and then it will start flashing and flickering everywhere again, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, and I was just pushing on the CPU and GPU to see if that made any difference. Maybe there was a loose solder joint. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed the RAM and the hard drive from this computer, so it won't boot up into any operating system. In fact, it won't even post because um, the RAM is needed for the GPU and the CPU for the computer to boot. So if you plug it in, it should beep, but mine didn't beep at all. It just didn't do anything. Okay, so I'm gonna reinstall one of the pieces of RAM and um, we'll see what happens then. So I haven't installed the hard drive. It's just one sticker of two gigabyte sodium right there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and hit the button when the light turns on. And as you can see here, it's turning on. And what do you know? All of a sudden the screen is completely white. There's no black bars or any lines. And um, it's now gonna search for a boot device, which it's not gonna find one because I don't have one installed. Okay, you can see there that there is the blinking folder, which means there is no hard drive installed. And um, so what this came down to was the RAM. So um, I'm not sure if the RAM just got loose in shipping or it just isn't compatible, um, but the RAM's been in there for a very long time. So I think it just, um, something like a bit of dust got in there or something in shipping, um, but it's now working again. And um, if you're wondering why that affect the GPU, uh, the GPU, the VRAM, is actually shared with the main computer memory. So um, if you have four gigs of RAM, you know, 64 megabytes of that might be shared with the video card, which in this model it is. Um, if you have a newer computer, you probably have a lot more VRAM, but on this computer it's 64 megabytes. So if there's something wrong with your RAM, then you may see a lot of graphics errors. So I've reinstalled the other stick and it also works fine now. So there is definitely something wrong uh, maybe it's just, you know, it was loose or whatever, but you can see now that it turns on yet again perfectly fine and as there is still no hard drive in it, it is not going to boot into Lion. Okay, so I'm now going to reinstall the 250 gigabyte hard drive there. It's um, Apple branded and uh, that has Mac OS X Lion on it. Um, so we can boot up into an operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall that. Okay, so now that I've done that, we can go ahead and turn on the laptop and you can see here that there is still no lines and now we have a boot device so we're going to be booting straight into Lion and um, everything is back to how it was when I shipped it. So yet again, I'm not sure why the RAM came loose, probably some rough shipping by Australia Post. Um, the postal service is very expensive and um, I've actually never had anything break in the post or get damaged. But um, as you can see, this that was damaged, but I'm glad it's not the LCD or the cable or mainly really the logic board because that's the whole brains of the computer. And if that's gone, then then you know this is just a parts machine. But I've, I've got it back up and running. So make sure you always use the correct memory for your computer. Uh, make sure it's Mac memory. Uh, it may cost some more, but then you're guaranteed that, you know it's gonna work with your computer and it's the right specs. So I hope this helped you guys out if you're having any GPU issues. And um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll catch you guys next time in another one of my great videos.